Alright, welcome back to the channel guys and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we are doing a build and drive and as you see we have a new Marmon cab over. This is by Rush Hour 109. It is a paid mod and looking through it, it's pretty good. There's some little uh, here's and there's that I gotta kinda talk to you about as we build it out. But overall pretty happy with the immersion of it and the feel in the cab. Uh, doesn't have a ton of options, does have a few on the outside, a few more would be nice on the inside, but it plays the part pretty well, and compared to some other mod makers who are making similar trucks, actually doing a pretty good job. Um, not too, um, disappointed at all with this. Uh, very good purchase. Let's go through some of the options, and then we're going to take a short drive. Um, uh, first of all, you have three cabs that come with it. You have the 86 which we're kind of showing right here. We have the bigger one, the 110. And those come in multiple variants here. And there's one 60P. That's the real small one. So if we want to customize this one, if we go into the chassis, these are the only two options that work for it. If we go down to here, we'll notice there is some sort of uh, compatibility issue. Um, and so if these are the only two issues and I see nothing changing. So I don't know what's going on. I, uh, it's not like I needed to update the mod. I've only had it for a few days. Um, maybe something isn't quite translating. But once we go over here into the 6x2, which is not a 6x2 at all, uh, it forces us into the 86P. And we have a few more options for the 86. We have the short. We have a long. And then we go back to short. 6x2, 6x4, no. so there is no physical change between any of the 6x2s and any of the 6x4s. And then you move to the next option and it forces you into the 110. And you would think that from here, the rest of these are all 110. And this is, in a shorter version, which is the same as this. And then there's your longer version. But right up here, our original choice, the next one down, suddenly forces us back into the 86. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of confusing the way it's set up. Six by twos aren't there. Shorts are the same thing as unlabeled. Um, just kind of mixes and matches. Just go ahead and click on a bunch of stuff until you get something that you like. So let's go ahead and move into the engine. What I have in here today is the Cummins NTC Big Cam 444. This is Slav Jerry's. And I have Neaton Fuller 10 speed for us today. Let's take a look at the interior. Interior is pretty cool. A lot of detail in here. Very happy with it. Here's brown option, classic, green, and wine. I think we're going to go with green since the outside is also green. And while we're on the inside, let's take a look at some of the options. Two choices of the steering wheel. We get a premium. And this is actually pretty familiar if you've seen other Marmon cab overs in the game but I'm really kind of liking this you do have to do a little bit of tweaking to get that steering wheel to to get good visibility but it is absolutely possible and if my mind serves me correctly I believe that some of the options that you would normally pick to move the steering wheel in and out as opposed to tilting it are backwards I believe I believe that's this truck um, I can verify that in a second when we get in and test drive it. Um, besides that, what we have is an option for our main mirrors. And I believe we just have paint versus chrome. Yeah, we're going to keep them as chrome. So no other styles. We can't do anything with the dash. And I've seen this in another Marmon cab over. And is this just a Marmon thing? Or did multiple creators do this wrong? This looks very much like a range knob. Why is it backwards? Am I missing something? Is there something wrong with my mod? Is there something wrong with the truck? Maybe there's something I'm just not understanding. Uh, nonetheless, we can't do anything with the dashboard, but we've got this uh, cool little CB radio. And these fans are really looking the part. I like it. Got a radio up here. So not too many choices here, but even though we don't have a ton of choices other than driver's plates. Oh, and we do have a side mirror. So you can get that customized. That's pretty much pointed right back at the side of the truck. you got to kick it over to the right a little bit to get some sort of visibility. But it kind of acts, 
it doesn't really act much as this mirror. It m acts more like what a side mirror would do here. That's about the only thing you can see with it. Uh, but that's the way it was designed to. And uh, yeah, so that is the inside and that's the options. Not a ton, but looking pretty good. Let's take a look at the outside. Um, in terms of paint jobs, it comes with basically a few colors and that's it. Or you can do your custom color. Um, a few options with the grill here. We can go custom. Looks pretty good. Bumper, I believe, four options. This one disappears or <laughs> seemingly has very little. Then there's the classic and the bull bar. You can add a couple lights to these or, yes, you can add two lights to the bull bar. But besides that, you don't have any other options for lights on any other bumpers. We do get these fog lights that come in, which is kind of cool. And obviously, I would like a little bit more than three quarters of a bumper. So let's go ahead and stick with that. Rear grill. That's actually back here. You have three options. I like the rustic myself. Classic's not bad, too. We're going to stick with rustic. So not to be hopping all over the place. Um, headlights. You got basic. And it's not headlights at all. It's your turn signals, basically. I like them up a little bit higher. So I think we'll go with the basic, too, as opposed to basic down below. So we'll keep it up there. Head up to the roof when we got a visor. We can do paint or chrome. Kind of stay, I'm liking the, the uh, paint myself. Cabin lights, we already have it set up. Or we've got a few of these already set up. And leaving enough room for our horns, which is this option. And let's get rid of that because that puts more horns and we have to get rid of lights. So we'll go with that. And then you have your choice with the uh, sound fixes. So you can either go Grover or Train. Uh, you can also put in beacons. I don't have any on here, but we've got the doubles. And the and so basically two of them with this um, conjoined or <laughs> this little bar across them to join the two of them. Or you can have them separate. I'm not going to do any of those today. Front fender. I actually kind of like it plastic, but I'll show you what it looks like standard and chrome. So I'm just going to leave it kind of plastic. It's basic. We do have some front mud flaps, and you have a few different options. Special black, which I like. Standard. Special white. And white. We'll leave special black for today. The uh, side skirts. This is a little bit weird because this is actually changing the tank, and these aren't side skirts at all. Um, I ended up with, with the paint on the ends. Otherwise, you can go a painted short, a painted large, chrome by itself, chrome short, and I don't know really what the difference is between these two. Not a whole bunch are changing. Um, in any event, we will go on. Side deflectors. Now is where you can add some lights onto your side deflectors. I'm not running a reefer or anything like that. I'm just going to keep it off. Air filters. These two things in the center, and you can choose to go single or double. We'll keep it double. And then exhaust, we can go standard. We can go straight. I kind of actually like the straight. Aussie exhaust. Mitered. Custom straight pipe. Ooh, I kind of like that too. Or curved. So between the two straight pipes, I'm going to pick this one or am I going to go custom? I think I'm going to go custom because you lose that heat shield, which adds for better visibility actually. Um, coming back here to the back, did I actually click on this one? Okay, so cabin lights, you can actually add your own lights. I'm not going to take the time to do it, but um, you can. I do have Chaos Shadow Walker's light pack, and it is it is working with this truck. Rear grill, we already did. I'm going to keep these pretty simple, these mud guards here. And add some wheels, I believe. Yeah, we're actually rocking John Ruda's rims here and wheels. Mud flaps, you get the same options pretty much that you did on the other mud flaps. Except for a couple of them have this weight here at the bottom, if you notice. So is there a weighted one that looks like, is that the one I wanted? Yeah, that's just like the front. Is there a weighted one like that? There is not. So we're going to have to go unweighted because that's the design I want to match the other mud flaps. Uh, cabin lights again, mud guards we already did. That's pretty much the options on it. So 
Not bad. We've got a few options. I wish we had a couple more, but I really wish um, I really wish they'd put in a little bit more customization customization on the inside. As you guys have heard my reviews before, I sit inside the cab. I don't, you know, spend a whole lot of time outside of the cab admiring it. I'd like to get it to look a certain way for sure, but it's not what I'm going to see the majority of the time as I'm driving. I'd rather have some more customization on the inside. And can someone tell me, please, is this shift knob backwards? Or is it a Marmon thing? I have no idea. Please tell me in the comments. Okay, so that's pretty much how it's all put together. I'm going to go ahead and confirm the order. And we'll go ahead and drive it. I'm going to get us set up with a job. And I will be right back. Okay, we are situated up in Jordan, Montana at Hell Creek Ranch. We picked up Ruta's uh, grain hopper and we are, we have a job. We just have to go pick it up. That's that big cam from Slav Jerry's. And we are ready to go pick up. We just have to drive pretty much just around on the other side of this uh, the silo. Kind of cool about the uh, ATS expansion, which is what this yard is. Hell Creek Ranch is part of the ATS expansion. Is we can go ahead and get weighed. Thirty-one thousand nine hundred and two. That's truck and trailer, no cargo. And assuming. If you had a uh, bottom loading, you could just dump all the, dump the load right there over that grate that we just drove. That's how you would drop it off. So we've got to swing out a little bit far here so we can get under this... Uh, get under this tube here that's dropping off all of our grain. And in case I did not mention it before, yes, grain is what we are carrying here. Looks like we're pretty, we're going to work out pretty good here. Perfectly straight. All right, let's go get her loaded and I'll be right back. Okay, it is now... 7.30 in the morning on a Saturday. I guess we're driving on a Saturday. At least according to the game. And so, okay, I thought we had grain. We actually have wheat. And we have 63,934 pounds of it. And we will definitely need to get rid of the parking brake. And then we'll kind of cruise out here. Let you see the Marmon and uh, Ruta's hopper. A lot of detail on the Ruta Hopper, lots of options too. Highly recommend it. Even though it's not really a feature of this video. Really about the Mormon today. is the Hell Creek Ranch sign. I'm absolutely going to stop and get a photo right there and I'll be right back. All right, got the screenshot. We are all set. Um, I'm going to rely on Lori to tell me where to go because this does not have a native GPS. It does have the capability to add one through the Sissel Mega Pack, as I've been told, or some sort of Sissel Pack, um, but I don't have that. I know we're going right because there's nothing to the left. Mirrors are halfway decent to see out of. I'm glad that circular mirror there 
it up a little bit. Go ahead and get our four ways off and get our windows rolled up. Let's head down the road. It is uh, five hours, six minutes game time on this drive, but we're going to be skipping ahead a little bit. I really just want you to have a little bit of look of what it's like inside the cab, what the details are like. Um, sometimes they come across a little bit more, a little bit different than when you're just looking at it in the shop and you're not seeing the, especially on a dirt road, you're not seeing the cab kind of swaying from side to side. Our lights. Stay on the road. A couple little extra buildings here built into this expansion. By the way, you can um, you can do a couple other uh, pickups there. You can pick up some cows. You can pick up if you have a uh, flatbed or a step deck. You can go ahead and pick up some uh, hay as well. A few other things. There's a lot built up into that. Something that I just realized now, I don't have my two cameras on. I always turn it off for the build portion, and I am yet to remember to turn it back on once it comes to the actual drive. So once we come to our first stop here, I will go ahead and take care of that, and it'll be back before you know it. And I believe that stop is coming up pretty soon. There's your low, there's your medium, there's your high, and none of them are stopping you. After 100 yards, turn right. That is supposed to be high. Turn right. And it's still not stopping us. We're so, yeah, that doesn't slow you down too much at all. Just kind of a heads up. Let me get these other cameras going. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. Almost got hit by a car. Probably going to get hit by another one. This guy's going to probably write me a ticket, or is he just going to slow down? And wait for me to go. Get that Jake off. I'm sure the uh, police officer isn't too happy to know that we've been running the Jake in town. And he knows we can hit the gears, so probably a little suspect. So that's what's going on. I actually started that whole thing in the upper range by accident. Go straight. Not on top of my game at all today. Now that's I take a look at her again. Yeah, speeding violation. That didn't take too long. I'm sure if it was simulated in the game, I would have absolutely been pulled over. I assume we're going straight. Actually, I don't know if I've been this way. I always usually turn left there. It's kind of what caught my attention. And we're slowly coming up to speed. We do have 63,000 pounds on her, though, so it's going to take a minute. Coming around the corner here, getting ready to drop off. Will do. This is a helicopter, Jake. Turn right. After 50 yards, turn right. <laughs> That's so funny. That is so funny. Um, which is crazy because none of Slop Jerry's engines sound like that. They usually don't sound like that. I gotta look at it again. I gotta double check. I'm pretty sure that's a Slav Jerry engine. <laughs> like 99% sure. But it doesn't sound like anything that I've heard. Okay, windows down. Four ways on. Always thinking about safety. Put our map away. Yep, 
Yeah, it straight up sounds like a Huey. Yep, they took it. Parking brake on. Windows up. Parking lights on only. Engines off. And let's go ahead and get her turned in. All right, we got her delivered and on time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you can see all of my videos. If you have any questions or comments about this, uh, need any questions answered either about uh, Ruta's uh, grain hopper or about the Marmon cab over from Rush Hour 109 and I highly recommend taking a look into it. Go ahead and drop them down below and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Until then, I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.